Salam alaikum wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So today, this is the second restaurant I went to today after the Iran one. So this is an this is an Iraq restaurant. So this is on I think Victoria Park. I put the address on the screen so you guys can check it out. Guys, let me tell you something. This place they treated me very good like this sauce and this one is jujik this one is baba and no sabone hummus eggplant and pepper cheese one piece so everything you guys just listened to right now everything was given to me for free i swear i am not a big uh social media influencer or anything like that but the way these people treated me guys i was like wait i'm not a big person i'm like wow this is like i started my journey of this like trying out foods and i i'm not gonna lie this sirak restaurant has been like my number one like the way they did no it was good like everything was good anyway so let's get to know a little bit about iraqi people so generally they're very very religious and they're conservative people it's a muslim nation so it's a lot of like arab arabic that they speak and i think uh kurdish is their official language in the in iraqi so so at this point i was trying out the stuff they gave me for free so what i actually bought it was like maybe like four of this but the rest of it like most of it was given for me for free because i was there the manager was like yeah you know what try this oh like i came in the lady just came i came in i told him what i want i sat down and she just came with this big ass tray i was like uh, what's going on he's like yeah the manager said we should give you so you can try iraqi like side dishes and stuff i was like wow i'm like wow thank you so much like oh my god i'm like i don't even like i was in hall i was like what is going on i don't even like it was good so at this point i was trying out every single one of because i was like okay you know what let's try and see anyways back to learning a little bit more about iraq or iraqi people yeah they're multi-generational like people they all live together so like even somebody that is like a far like maybe three seven cousins away they will always ref uh, refer to that person as family like, like these people they always like we are a family they keep on their generation ongoing uh iraq is also home to the world's uh, oldest civilization and iraq in english means uh fertile so i'm kind of like why i think because there's a lot of like uh droughts like water like scarcity of water i think that's the problem there it's also uh the world's oldest writing that came into existence it was like in iraq the biggest spot for them is like football which is what we know as a football because it is played by your feet but americans will say soccer and they will call the other one that they hold as football honey you guys are confused like pick one side anyway so what i ordered was the um lamb cushion or kusi i don't think i'm pronouncing it right but anyway so that one came with the lamb shack biryani bread tapsy stew the owl salad and fasoli i think so um when it comes to iraq people like the economy is actually dominated by oil which is like which provides like 99 seven percent of like their foreign exchange earnings so they get a lot of money when it like the foreign exchange when it comes to their earning it's about like it comes from the oil sector for them because they produce a lot so they're very rich when it comes to oil excuse me like I said, yeah they're very rich when it comes to oil this restaurant is called out for sets i think so but i'm gonna put the name on the screen guys i'm not gonna lie to you the old experience was like very good i will highly 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 recommend this piece like i started this journey and these people did this thing to me like they were very very welcoming it was like i can't even like i don't even know how to say like i was just like surprised i was like i wasn't expecting this to happen and having to give me everything i was just like there is no way i'm gonna finish it's like yeah it's okay you can always take it home but trust me guys check this out you're gonna love it hi guys so i just got back from the iraqi restaurant guys look 
look at my bags i brought two full bags of food because there was no way i was gonna finish it so in this bag i have the bread like this sauces the, you remember the sauces i add so i took some of them and i just added them because i love i love them so i have some when i tell you that it was good i mean it was good like the service was you know, like i have this other extra bread too this too as well this is kind of like a biryani as well i think they have a biryani so it's not just indian that uh like they're used to biryani but this is also a biryani but then i think this is like a this black stuff it's just the same as the iran one too uh what's it called it's a dried lime and i have the lamp underneath so <laughs> i can't even fit everything on myself and when i was leaving the lady also gave me a tea so she said it's an iraqi tea oh my god let me open it for you guys so yeah it's just a regular tea but it's not regular regular layer but it's a tea it's black tea but it's iraqi tea so the service was everybody was like it was the environment was welcoming the vibe was good you know when you get somewhere you feel oh my god i don't feel comfortable but this one i feel very very comfortable i really loved it so shout out to our first i can remember the name but i'll put the name at the bottom and i'll put the address so if you guys ever want to try an iraqi food trust me please please go there this is not like a paid distant but because the time was good i was like yeah you guys did well to me i'm gonna shout you out too so guys i hope you enjoyed uh today's video i will see you guys in the next one